How you guys doing, man? Let's just get this right. How's it going, guys? Uh, how did you day? How did you day go? Sorry. Um, what did you get up to? Oh, in there. It's the lighting, all right. Hold on a sec. Yeah, I plan to do this um, live stream a little bit later on, but I thought I'd just start earlier um, so, so we could finish a bit earlier. So let's just see how many people come on. Hold on a Yeah, we may have to wait a few minutes for people to join. Um, it's Tuesday today, so I'm not sure how many people will be online because um, probably the best days are Saturdays, Sundays um, for people coming online, but let, let's just see what happens. So it's going to be a really good topic today, a really interesting one. It relates to everyone. Everyone suffers with this at some point. So we're going to be talking about how to move forward um, in your life of your goals, taking action, socializing, you know, your, your personal um, goals when you feel depressed. I think this is a really important topic. I don't think enough people cover this or enough people um, speak about it. Okay. So yes, yeah, it's, it's a fine skill to develop, and you know I have developed this skill over the years. It hasn't been easy, and anybody can develop it. And it's basically the skill to stay positive and optimistic. You know, when when you're suffering with depression or you feel depressed, you your mood is low. And for me. For me, there's no there's no other option. It's either stay depressed for as long as the depression is going to last on its own and wait for it to go, or obviously we all get depressed, we all feel down. It's part of being human. Um, some of us have it more than others, but you can choose to move forward whilst you're depressed, and that way you 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 change. You know you, your emotions change. You, you become happier, you become more optimistic, and basically you stop being depressed, getting feeling depressed because it's. Let me just give a simple analogy. You know, when you're really depressed, you're you're in darkness, right? It's like you're in your head, you're in your house, and, and you don't feel like coming out and interacting with the world. Or the metaphor in you know in Batman where he got slung down in that ditch and he couldn't get out initially. He was trying to climb out. He kept falling back down. And then eventually, you know, he worked on his mind. He trained, he got himself fit down in that cave or that prison. And then he, he busted himself out of that prison and, and he climbed out and then he went and saved the day. It's the same analogy with depression. So to summarize it, and make it easier. A lot of people, will find it very difficult to go to the gym. And I understand that when they feel depressed because it just feels too overwhelming. It feels too difficult. They don't feel like doing it. But the technique that I'm talking about today is, is actually realizing the benefits of you going, pushing yourself to go to the gym or leave the house, interact with people or, you know, do the things that you need to do because that's how, that's how you get yourself feeling better. And that's um, how you know, you eradicate or you reduce the depression 
that that you're suffering with and it's very life's a lot more exciting when you've got a forward thinking mentality forward thinking where moving forward you know despite how you feel and of course things you're always it's always going to change like I, most people you're not going to be depressed forever and you're going to be happy again and then you're going to get depressed and then you're going to get happy and it tends to go like that but if you take this advice today if you really work on your mindset like today i didn't feel i didn't feel like doing this live stream to be honest i'm not depressed um i'm actually in a really good mood i'm just tired because i've been to the gym i had a really good workout down the boxing gym and i've eaten and i feel relaxed i feel like i've got all my um stresses out but i make myself do the live stream because i know i can help a lot of people hopefully i, I know i can and it will help me to grow as a person and it will encourage people. Whereas it's very easy to just, just say, I'll leave the live stream today, I'll do it another time when I feel more energetic. Sometimes if you've got that mentality, you never get anything done, right? How many of you can relate to that procrastinating? So it's it's a real strength and, and um, you know, good good attribute to have or characteristic to be able to move forward when you don't always feel at your best or, or when you feel in, in a low mood. So taking action overcomes depression and anxiety and fear. Fear, anxiety, depression. The more and more you take action, the better you feel. You know, there's biologically, spiritually, mentally, emotionally. And that's the thing, like when you're in when you're in the midst of being depressed, you never you never feel like you never feel like you're gonna be happy again. You never feel like you'll have the strength to be able to do do things. For example, a lot of people stop dating when they're depressed because they don't feel good. And that's a logical thing to do, right? Uh, that's human. But if you used to push yourself and start dating and going to the gym you'd get out of being depressed. You'd feel better. So same mentality. How can we um, pass the past? If I've understood that right, you didn't really spell it correctly. How can we move on from the past by taking action and moving forward, setting goals? If you set new goals and the, the goals inspire you and motivate you and it's goals that you really want to achieve that excite you if you put your time and energy and focus focus is the key thing um uh, umit if you focus on the future or now the goals then you're not going to be focusing on the past most people again haven't trained their mind they haven't got enough personal discipline and they always think about the past and get down and get angry or stressed out or sad or, or lonely or frustrated so the more you you know planning helps as well planning ahead setting goals um and just practicing you know if you really want to improve and you've got the desire and the excitement and if the drive's there then you can do it but obviously these things are not easy initially i'm not gonna i'm not gonna i'm not saying they're easy none of these things are easy to do but that doesn't mean that you can't successfully do them because you can, because because I'm doing it and I've done it many times. So if you just come on the stream today, we're talking about depression and anxiety, how to move forward in your life and do the things that you want to do and achieve your goals and, or maybe just live every day a little bit more um, with more of a positive attitude, how to move forward when you don't feel great. See, here's the catch-22. If you don't feel good about yourself and you feel depressed and then you don't go to the gym, you don't date, you don't socialize, you don't work on your hobbies, you're going to get double depression. You're going to get double the dose because you're, you're, gonna, you're depressed anyway for whatever reason. And then if you don't take action in any area of your life, you're going to be depressed because you didn't go to the gym. You didn't work on your dating life. You didn't go out and 
open, push your social boundaries and meet new people or do a live stream on YouTube or follow your, you know, the things that you need to do. So I found this out over, how long is it now? I'm 30, I'm going to be 38, so 25, 30, 35. 13 years ago, I discovered this secret. 13 years, I discovered that I was depressed all the time because I never took action. I didn't take enough action. And when I started to take a lot of action, I became a happy person. And, and then eventually success came. So if you just come onto the stream today, I really appreciate it. First thing you want to do, hit the like button. Let me know what you're doing at the moment or how you are today. What's up, Benny? Hey, Matt, I've just been to the gym now. outside. good, good for you. But I always feel, generally do, I always feel happy and, and, and positive when I hear people keeping up their gym because it takes a lot of discipline. A lot of people think, oh, yeah, just going to the gym, it's just, it's just normal. It's, but it's not, actually. Actually, most people can't commit to the gym long term. Very few can. And uh, I just, I went gym today as well. I, I, I feel great. I'm tired, but it's a good tired. I'm tired because I, I gave everything in the gym today. And that, but I'm, I feel great. I'm happy to be here. Well, past trauma, how can we handle it? Well, there's several ways and they're going to be your choice. I'm going to tell you what works for me. Try it for you, uh, Umet. If it doesn't work, then try somebody else's advice. Trauma is pain. It's pain. Trauma is pain from the past. Hurt, upset, anger, whatever's happened. We, we all have it. If you can even use your trauma to move forward in life and better yourself and put, your, put that tra traumatic energy into something positive and productive, or you can just sit with the trauma and continue um, thinking about it and feeding it. A lot of people do part one. They don't do anything to change the pain that they have from the past. And I used to be like that as well. So we're not, um, we're not knocking anyone. We're just speaking truths. If you put your pain into, if you put your pain into the gym, you're going to get in fantastic shape. Or if you put your pain into socializing in a positive way and obviously treating people kindly how you want to be treated, that's how you do it. Mike Adams, what's up, Mike? How can you socialize when you have no life experience? That's my problem. Well, you don't need life experience to socialize. You can socialize, Mike, and you can start from a clean slate. You know, as long as you're kind to other people and friendly and positive and you can listen and you can express yourself then that's fine you, you don't need like you don't need to be qualified to socialize with people even today it's funny because a lot of the experiences i had years ago that were really positive to help people i'm re reliving them it feels abstract initially. It, it, it doesn't feel natural. It doesn't feel normal. It doesn't feel comfortable to push yourself outside of your comfort zone when you feel depressed, anxious, um, lonely, frustrated, insecure. It doesn't feel normal. But if you stick with it and you keep doing it, it will eventually become normal to you. I remember having a conversation with a friend. We were talking about success, growing, facing fears. And he said, you know, he was just talking. He said, it, it's, it goes, what we do is it's not normal for most people, but it's normal for us. And he was referring to facing our fears and being honest about our fears and really challenging ourselves. But it, it's an exciting way to live. So it's all about teaching yourself a new behavior, a new habit. How many of you, right, we're not, this is not any judgment, just being honest. How many of you in this chat room today, um, when, you're, when you're depressed, you, um, you won't take action, uh, for example. You'll just, um, you'll just kind of give up 
What's up, Jeremy Carr? Good to see you, mate. Good evening. How, how was your evening? General Spoon, good to see you. Good, man. Everyone's come from a workout. Benny's worked out today. General Spoon's come from a workout. I've come from a workout. Um, I'm sure you guys have got that nice, tired, uh, satisfactory, lighter, stronger feeling. So that's kind of how I feel. I feel great. Oh, that's great, man. It's great to hear that, man, that you, um, you're doing good. So really, there's only really, when you boil it down, there's only really two ways of moving forward when you're depressed. Number one is to socialize with your immediate family, friend, social circle, or even new people. And number two is to exercise. If you do both or you do one, you're going to feel better 100%. Like I already feel way better now that we're on the stream and it's been 16 minutes, say 10 minutes to warm up. I feel way better now because I'm taking action and motivating and inspiring people and connecting with you guys and sharing our day and things that we got up to. I feel better. I feel, I feel, I feel great. I didn't, I didn't initially feel like doing the live stream today, as I said, because I've been to the gym. I had a great workout and I feel tired. And I've just eaten, I've had some rice and I feel good. And it was very easy to say, oh, I'll leave the live stream today. But I know if I, if I do the live stream, it will help a lot of people. I'll enjoy it. And, and then I'll, I'll grow more as a person. Uh, hey, um, Almira, good to see you. How are you? Johnny, what did you think of about Jake and Woodley? Did you feel, do you know what? I didn't watch the fight. I just wasn't really feeling it, Jeremy, to be honest. I stayed up and it got close. I went to bed. I watched the little, um, I watched some clips and I, I wasn't that impressed. It was it was disappointing. You know, they're, they're not proper boxers, but you've got to give them credit and respect for getting in and having the courage. But yeah, you know, um, Jake Paul won the fight pretty pretty clearly. Um, Tyrone Woodley did hurt him in one of the rounds um, so it, you know it wasn't an embarrassment or anything like that but com you know compared to Pacquiao and people like that for me it's I'm not that into it okay that's great then he's saying 5 by 5 120 kilo uh, kg back squats that's great yeah, you had your chicken and rice again, a general general spoon. Well, I heard today that um, I heard it on a, on a station that Jake Paul's retiring. He's packing it in. I don't know if that's true or not. Yeah, yeah, I, I had the same thought today. I said it to a friend I was talking to. I said I, I feel a little bit a little bit of a down because the summer's ending. And I think everybody feels like that. Everyone does. I think if you didn't feel like that, you wouldn't be human. I felt that today because it's, it's like, oh, it's going to be September now, the end of August. And we didn't have much of a summer anyway. We had little glimpses of it. But I think after a couple of, after a couple of weeks, the, the, the low will go away. You'll just kind of get used to... Um, like it's a new season, right? We're all in a new season. I, I think socialising helps for that. But yeah, I, I always kind of get this, uh, I'll mirror the same thing when when it's a new season, when it ends and it's just kind of a, a sad feeling, definitely. Uh, Mike Adams says he prefers the winter. But you know what, Mike? Once we get into the winter and I get used to it and I accept it, I like the winter as well. Uh, Glenn says, hi, Johnny. I struggle greatly with depression. I find I talk to myself a lot. I barely go out the house apart from go to what I feel worthless and pathetic. Well, first of all, um, you're human, right? So you're going to feel what you're going to feel, but you're not. You're definitely not worthless and pathetic um, for feeling like that. We, everybody, we all suffer with depression and anxiety. Some deal with it better than others. Some have it more, which is why I, I done this talk. Um, so, you know, coming on things like this, Glenn, might just help you a little bit, even if you just get some improvement, just being around some positivity, being able to get it out. 
But what I've said today to everyone is the way that you get over depression, and I'm not saying it's easy, I, I, it's not easy, it's definitely not easy to do initially, is moving forward when you're depressed. I know that doesn't make logical sense. Like I'm ask, telling you, you know, when, you do, when you're depressed to go out and socialize and do things, but honestly, that's how you get over it. That's how you change it. And um, do you sometimes lose interest in something that you just started doing, even though you started out of interest? Can I be honest with you? And I'm not being big headed or anything. No, I used to have that. I've, I've overcome that, uh, Ravi. I did used to be like that in the past. I'm not going to lie. And it's another human thing. So well done for being honest. And it's funny that you've mentioned that. I'm glad you asked me that because I did a video about that the other day about people who are part time action takers. They get excited to do new things. And, and they're very excited at the start and they put a lot of energy into it. And then all of a sudden, if it doesn't go well, or if they get a day where they feel a bit down or lonely or depressed, they quit. I think that's, and I think that's fear in disguise. That's a self-sabotaging mechanism, which everybody has, but some people deal with it better. I had it same way you did, but I figured out how to overcome it. So if I start something, Ravi, I make sure that it's something that I'm passionate about, I want to do. I make a promise to myself, nobody else, that I'm going to stick at it. And one of, the, one of the things I set out is to do these live streams regularly, and you see me doing them regularly. So you just got to practice more discipline, um, Ravi, and you just got to understand the consequences of starting things and then losing interest. I don't, have, I don't have any events coming up at the moment, guys and girls, but I will let you know when I do, because at the moment I'm not actually working. I'm working on working again, coming back, and because I've had some challenges and stuff like everyone. But I'm, I'm in a really good place now, so doing these live streams is kind of a step in the right direction. But as soon as I'm back working and coaching and doing the events, you guys and girls will be the first to know. You got to create some momentum, 100% general spoon. So important momentum. You can't go from zero to 100 in an instant, 100%. That's why I say to people, don't worry, we do it one step at a time. We don't have to try and take on everything in one go because that's going to be too overwhelming. So someone who's suffering with bad, bad depression, anxiety, for them, success could be waking up, brushing the teeth, showering, and just cleaning their apartment. Like, if you can do that when you're depressed, for me, that's like major success because it's not easy to motivate yourself and move your biomechanics to get out of bed, to shave or to shower, to put clean, clean clothes on and clean the apartment. So it's just learning. Basically, what we're talking about today is learning to have the mental and emotional strength to do things when you feel depressed anxiety stress and the explanation will come for you personally through experience you know because I didn't know this back in the day guys when I used to get depressed badly I used to just think there's something wrong with me like something I'm just not normal and like it's not in my control and I used to just sit at home and just eat a lot of cakes and chocolates and you know watch films and you know and um and just sometimes stay at home for like four days or a week, or I might just go out to the shop just to get some takeaway and then come back home. And then I try and sleep it off, and it just got worse, panic attacks, anxiety, paranoia, stress. And it was a, a lot later on where I started getting into self-help. I started to challenge myself and, and go out and go and see my family, friends. And that's when I started to discovering, you know, the, the anecdote to a lot of, depression which is to take action and then when I joined the boxing gym and I started to slowly you know go on start going on dates start talking to girls and meet up with friends and go to events I started to change so it is a gradual thing can you explain how to handle the ego I mean that's very complicated that's, it's going to be difficult I appreciate your question I, I mean to explain that I could be here for 10 hours um, I think it's really just about, you know, 
you you know yourself. You, you know what it is that you need to do, and it's it's winning the battle with the negative part of you and the positive part. Yeah, as soon as you stop comparing yourself to others and you compare yourself to who you were yesterday, you're much happier. You, might, you make much more progress like that. You know, this is how you build mental toughness. You, you build mental toughness by overriding your emotions and not being led solely by your emotions, but being led, you know, by your mentality. Because if you wait until you feel happy to do things, you could be waiting for six months, right? Some de depression sometimes takes a long time to go. Sometimes it can go in one day or, or a couple of days. But if you act and you take action, it's the it's the kryptonite for depression momentum it's the anecdote and it gets easier and you know when you talk about things like social anxiety which is you know that's inclusive with depression the more you keep socializing the easier it will get the happier you will feel and the less anxiety you you'll have because you're exposing yourself to it It's so much more satisfying because you're not competing. Like I'm 60 kilos on the bench um, is a record. I'm satisfied because I struggle. Yeah, that's it. That's a great attitude to have, like you said, because um, if you've got to 60 and you were on 50, then you're progressing. And it's a great attitude to have. Many people don't have that attitude. They're always comparing themselves to other people, but that's just a waste of time. You just waste your energy and your focus and, you can't really change others. You can only change yourself. And like you said earlier, focus on being better than you were the day before or the week before. A big part of getting out of depression is simplicity. Just make, sometimes look, just make a phone call. Just call a friend or speak to your mum or your dad or go for a walk. I've said that a lot in my videos. A lot of you have seem to really like that advice you've tried it go go for a long walk an hour or two it will it will make you feel a lot better and that's a form of taking action of course i mean there can there can definitely be a direct correlation between weight weight and depression obviously if somebody is overweight and that's making them feel not good about themselves then that's going to definitely going to cause depression more than likely Depression can be caused by any thing that we're bothered about or insecurity. I, I don't really meditate every day, but I exercise and, and I, I do my um, prayers. So I'm not, I don't really meditate in the classical sense because that doesn't really work for me. But what does work for me is the gym. I always say the, gym, the boxing gym is, is my new church and that's where I get into a really focused space and, and I feel great after I work out. Yeah, that's another good attitude. You're, you're on point, um, General Spoon. You really do want to celebrate your little wins. Like I said, when somebody's depressed, just getting out of bed can be victory. That can be a great achievement. Someone who's really depressed, if they can just get up and clean their apartment, they're winning in life. Because I remember the days where I couldn't clean my apartment when I was depressed. I physically, I had a mental block. I was, it sounds crazy, I was scared to clean my apartment because I was so depressed and frightened and down and anxious. I, could, I, was, I was afraid of everything. I couldn't do things. Uh, and that became a habit of mine and it, it made me suffer for many years. But once I, I reached such a low point, I guess you could call it rock bottom, I decided to fight back. And for me, fighting back was not letting depression um, steal my life from me and, and bully me and make me feel frightened of everything. And I remember days where 
and this is a true story. Why would I make it up? I used to tell this at my seminars because it was true as to my, my life story. Like I, I couldn't go out of the house without feeling I had such high anxiety. It was so um, extreme. Like I was nervous to go in and buy a chocolate in the shop or order food. I was nervous in case someone looked at me and I panicked and showed, you know, awkwardness or nerves or, or fear. So, and when I was going out, at the time in the street, I, I was paranoid that, you know, someone was going to, you know, someone's going to try and beat me up or people were going to laugh at me. I had so much paranoia going on. And, and all of that was um, in relation to the depression I was having and the mindset. But I overcome it. I overcame it. Uh, we got some really good, um, really appreciate everybody today. Again, I'm really happy that we are successful with these live streams that they're, they're getting bigger each time it's, you know people are changing more more positivity glenn linas linas if that's your name the lockdown and pandemic hasn't helped 100 I, I agree many days i'd wake up with no structured plan for my ah oh, that's a huge point glenn we're going to hold we're going to talk on that and i've been hearing a lot of people saying it which is good lately other channels that are helping with depression when you're depressed, you need structure. You need some structure in your life. I'm not saying that you've got to plan everything, right? Because I don't do that. But I do plan, like most days, I plan the day before what I'm going to do. Like last night, I planned for today and, and I, I wrote it in my phone. You know, wake up, um, get my kit, I pack my kit and like go boxing, train boxing, come home, shower, eat some protein eat some rice, go for a walk for an hour and a half, you know, kind of work on my mindset, come back home, do a live stream with you guys, and then after the live stream, relax a bit. So I, plan, I have to plan. You need structure, Glenn. You need some of that, man. That will really help you. Because if you just leave it to chance, like for people that suffer with depression, anxiety, probably like a lot of us, if we don't plan our life or we don't make set goals the next day, you're really vulnerable to depression and anxiety. And that's really helpful as well. Well done, General Spoon. I always appreciate when people are helping one another in the chat as well. It's not just me giving the advice. Views on... Um, Psy, um, psychotherapy medications like antidepressants. Listen, this is my views on it, right? I'm not against it because it depends on the person, and I'm not a doctor, so I can't tell someone, yeah, you should take medication or not. I don't have the power to do that, but I, I know enough to know that these things can help, and I, I've used medication, been open about that, and it really helped me. So if you need it, then it can really help you. For some people, they don't need it. They just need to join join the gym and, and train regularly. Good to see you, James. My day was fantastic, man. I, it was simple. I got up. I went down. I went to the boxing gym, trained for an hour and a half, got the train back, showered, had some rice and tuna, protein, um, went for a walk for an hour and a half around Central, come back home and set the live stream up. I appreciate it, General Spoon. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Yeah, I'm proud of proud of all of us for the effort and the strength and help. I'm really struggling with my first graduate job, but I'm realizing that working itself is not is not um working itself is not easy and hard. Um, didn't quite fully understand that, uh, Elmira. Just elaborate. Uh, was you was you saying that you you're struggling with a job, but you you've come to an understanding that work in itself is not easy. Oh, it's not easy and it's hard. Okay. Yeah, I mean, a lot of the things that we do in our life that are meaningful, they're not easy. They, they come with some challenge. They, they really do. I think for everyone, working can always be a challenging thing. Uh, there's so much nuance to mental health that you have to find what works for you, 
Hundred percent. Well, well said, Joe. Well said. Um, if any of you are new to this channel and you're getting a lot out of it and you like it, hit that subscribe button. Only if you want to, if you enjoy my stuff. If you don't enjoy it, then no problem. You're not obliged. Overwhelm causes anxiety, yes. Yeah, that's it. That's a good attitude. Well, you kind of answered your question. You know, when you're struggling and you realize that working life is hard, and it is hard for most people. But you're also learning that you, you're going to adjust your mindset to it. So to the level of stress that you're dealing with or the level of challenge, if you continue building up your mind and strengthening it, it will adjust. It will adjust to the amount of stress, pressure, anxiety. Um, you know, especially when you've got to perform or usually in work, you've got to, you've got to reach certain targets and stuff. So. That's it. Just keep working on your mind and, and it will get easier. You, you, or you'll just get used to the difficulty. Doing well in life is an art form. Being well and keeping good mental health, it takes a lot of balance. 100%. The good thing about today is I, it's not 100%, but there is a lot more conversations about mental health now for men and women. Um, it's no longer like it was when I was really suffering with it about 15, 20 years ago, where nobody really spoke about it. It was really taboo. You know, people were too ashamed or embarrassed. But now a lot of these stereotypes have been broken thanks to some you know, people coming out. And some of the celebrities have made a difference. People like Tyson Fury, who, who broke the stereotype that men can't show weakness. Because if the heavyweight boxing champion of the world can show his vulnerabilities that he suffers of mental health, paranoia, anxiety, and he gets scared and down and depressed and has suicidal thoughts, then it frees all every other man up or young man or whatever age that it's okay if you're going through it, you can talk about it and you and you won't be judged. Um and the same, you know, I, I also know that women the same they suffer with it as well and it's sometimes it's not easy for, for anyone to talk about it yes yes I, I know it's a good sign we've got the bat gang we've got batman in the live stream i was just saying the other night that um i miss all of the original crew that's not to single out any new person I'm, we want more new people to join as well but just seeing the original names gives me a good warm feeling uh, my depression has taught me how to understand others and be patient. That's great. It really does. You know, when you when you suffer and go through it, it definitely, in most cases, makes you be more a bit more caring towards other people and a bit more understanding and patient. Whereas some people don't have depression as much, so they don't understand when someone else is like that. When the student is ready, the teacher will appear. And the student is truly ready, the teacher will disappear. Confucius, JB, my foot. Appreciate that, man. Some, that's some great wisdom there, man. All of us need teachers. Um, Dick Valentine, it's very humbling. Awesome. Yeah, you guys know each other, right? I'm sure Jeremy Carl remembers uh, Batgam, General Spoon, vice versa. I promise you, man. I said we're going to grow these live streams and we're going to keep helping people. We're going to keep talking positive. Uh, yeah, we're, we're gonna we're gonna just stick with it, and I'm, I'm a huge believer in simplicity, especially when it comes to confidence building, mental health, and I think the first step is to talk. Right, what we're doing now is to be honest and open, and we're doing it in a in a positive way. So I think most people will come off this live stream and they will feel better about themselves, hopefully, because it's a positive atmosphere. Yeah, we're missing Bruce Lee, but he'll be back. How you been back, Dan, man? How, how's it been? How's it been going? How's, how's town? How's it um, where you are? Yeah, a lot of things can affect depression, what you eat, and stuff, definitely... But if you can just remember this, guys, right? This helps me a lot. I meditate on this. I pray on this. Two things to help with depression at any time. 
socializing and exercising it's very it's, it's kind of it's very hard to be really depressed if you're exercising regularly a lot and you're training hard and you're socializing if you're doing those two things i'm not saying you're never going to feel some depression or sadness or because you probably will but it you won't get it as much you will we will have a lot more happy emotions by the way hit that like button if you're enjoying this stream we've got double the people on and we only got um several likes yeah the diet is really important as well obviously if you just keep eating junk food then you know and i had a chat I, I still have a challenge with that i've been cleaning my diet up that can bring you down as well Good, keeping busy and staying active for walks is good. Yeah, walks is, has always been a good one. Big man Frank, what's up, Frank? Johnny, I'm looking to move out of my um my mum's or my Marjay's house. I'm a bit apprehensive, but really uh, want to. Should I just go with my impulse or plan it first? Well, I need to know a bit more about the situation because this is quite a delicate thing, like you said. Uh, I'm still improving at giving people advice. I think, um, you know, follow your heart. If you're really feeling it and you feel ready, then then go for it. But yeah, moving out was um, it's it's a big fear. It was it was nerve wracking for me as well. I had to kind of prepare myself when I first moved out. I first moved in with a girlfriend, and I was really apprehensive about it. The same way you are, so. I'd spend around a month just going over it in my head, just visualizing, just kind of coming to terms with it. And then I did it and it, and it worked out and it, and it was fine. Uh, all good, thanks, mate. Um, the world back to normal, thank God. Working on the gym, socializing, taking risks, growing as much as I can. Are you still an inspiration to us all here, Johnny? Never give up. Yeah, I appreciate that, man. It's really good to hear. I'm always relieved um, when you guys tell me that, you know, you, you're going to the gym you're socializing more because they're that's the foundation you know i'm i'm always worried for people when they say you know they're not going gym they're not meeting anyone they're on their own all they're doing is isolating themselves it's i get a bit concerned a bit worried because that's the danger zone you know you, you don't want to be you know on your own all the time it's, it's not healthy You know, sometimes as well, sometimes I'm, my mum is a believer in this. She, she's really good of her, I think she's good of her wisdom. Sometimes lighthearted things can help when you're depressed. Sometimes you've got to put on a good film, something easy going, something that's not too deep, something that's not going to drag your mind into dark places, a comedy or, you know, Batman or, or Rocky or Star Wars, something that's got a positive message, a you know, message of hope, message, you know, that anything... You can achieve anything. And sometimes when you watch these sort of films, it kind of rewires your, your mind and it makes you feel a little bit more optimistic, a bit more motivated, and then you're able to take action. Would you would you guys agree that, you know, depression and motivation, this is, uh, let's read this. I find living on my own, it's difficult to encourage myself to do stuff on a daily basis. I might have five good days, and then um, my head drops, drinking alcohol doesn't help either. No, no, it wouldn't. But just um, from what you said, Glenn, and some of the other people in the stream gave you some advice, just just start slowly. I did this about two years ago. Just start adding a little bit of structure into your life. Maybe the day before, make a plan of going out somewhere or just trying you know, a new restaurant, a gym, museum, little things at a time or maybe just giving you know wherever you're living look around and see what needs to be done if there's anything that needs to be cleaned if there's any maintenance start doing little things i'm telling you it makes a huge difference you can really grow you know sometimes guys we think that we need to do crazy things to grow like we've got to jump off a mountain or abseil or travel the world or swim with great white sharks or you know ask somebody out that, that we like or 
you know, do public speaking, but and those things are really good. But sometimes the little things can make you really grow as well. Like just being a bit more disciplined, like I said, like if you're someone that always has takeaways, just trying to go out and get some recipes together and, and cook a meal for yourself. I have a date with yourself. I have many dates with myself where I'll go out, I'll get the ingredients and it's nice going around the supermarket. I'll, I'll get the chicken, the veg, the, the seasoning, the soy sauce, the rice. I'll come home. I'll put a bit of music in the background. Some, um, some of the eighties, nineties stuff to lo- love music and stuff. And, you know, I'll have my, um, I might get my phone out, I might do a WhatsApp call with my brother or a friend, and then I'll start cooking, seasoning up. And uh, obviously, every once in a while, I might have a beer. Uh, I'm not a massive fan of too much alcohol, but a little bit is okay if you haven't got a problem with it, which I haven't. And then by the time the food's ready, I will put on a podcast, a boxing, something to watch. And and it's, it makes you feel great. You know, it is like having a date with yourself. You know, and you you appreciate it because you didn't just go to KFC or Nando's or McDonald's and just easy way buy the fast food. You you kind of value in yourself. You've gone out and bought yourself. You know what I mean? You've bought the ingredients. You've come home. You cooked the meal. It makes you feel good. I feel like a sea bum with my lat spread after the gym. I'm really satisfied. <laughs> All right, General Spoon's in good spirits. That's good. Uh, Endure, Master Johnny, take it. They'll hate your leap. Hate for it. That's the point. Batman, he can be the outcast. He can make the choice that no one else can make, the right choice. That's beautiful, man. Well said. Love Batman. Love, uh, love. I think many people do. Totally relate to Batman. He's a, he's an introvert. He's always tr- he's trying to do good. He, he battles with his own demons and he wants to take down the um, crime. And uh, what do you call it? He wants to get justice, you know? He's determined. The Cape Crusader. He's like the modern Arnold for anyone who doesn't know him. That's interesting. Well, sir, we, I mean, this is, I mean, this is like old school. I should have, I'm going to, I'm going to retitle this live stream, the old school crew. Because we've got that gam in the house, we've got General Spoon, we've got uh, Bobby Boldy, um, we, we've got quite a few others there. I don't want to miss out any names here. So everyone, everyone is is, is important as one another. We've got Jeremy Kyle. These are some of the these are some of the originals, the original team players. <laughs> okay, General Spoon says you should look up this uh, gentleman, Chris. Bumstead, if you guys want, I love him. He's one of my idols. There we go. We've got some recommendations there. Speaking of superheroes, Batman. I can't think of a better time to watch a superhero movie than when you're feeling even, I mean, obviously you don't have to feel depressed to watch one, but if you are feeling depressed, you watch one of these and, and they, they take you out of that darkness and they, they make you feel they make you feel great again, excited. What's my plans for the weekend? I'll be honest with you, I haven't, I haven't thought that far ahead. Um, but now you've mentioned it. Probably to go on a date. I think I've got the opportunity to do that. I'm thankful. So I try and, if I can get the date in, organize it with, with a person. A date. Um, get. I'm gonna get my my hair cut as well. I need to cut my hair. Shoot a couple of new YouTube videos, high quality, something different. So, and also to cook a meal. So yeah, that that would be my plans. Got quite a few things there. I ain't coaching at the moment, back gam, but um, I will. I will be in the future. I, I'm actually working on coming back. And that's why I'm. Um, that's why I've got this new lease of life. I'm in the gym, and I really miss it. I genuinely miss it. I miss for full all of the reasons, the challenge of it. You know, working with people, meeting new people. Um, but I am building myself back up. I won't go into every intricacy because nobody wants to be bored by every, you know, 
every bit of my story and the reasons. But yeah, I, I will be coming back. It's just the question of when, hopefully by next year. But you never know, one step at a time. Um, Transformers, seeing them in the cinema. Yeah, I loved it as a kid. Good man, do what's best for you at the right time, mate. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing. You know, it's funny because I was listening to Oscar De La Hoya. You guys probably know him. It doesn't matter. If he's a, he was a great champion boxer, but he's had some demons like we all do. I think he's really struggled with demons, maybe a bit more than the average person. He was saying he's coming back to fight. and It's the first time he's doing it for him. He was always doing things for other people. I feel a little bit like that in a way. I never regret teaching, but I feel like this time I'm actually, of course, you're helping other people and that's a wonderful thing. But before I felt a little bit, maybe I was neglecting myself in certain areas and that's fine. And this time I feel like I'm taking the time out to um, give myself what I need where, where maybe I was neglecting before. I'm sure a lot of you might relate to that. Uh, maybe to you, maybe to use the word love sounds a little bit cheesy. I would probably say maybe be maybe kinder to myself and give myself a little bit more attention in certain areas. So that, that, that's that's trying to make sense of it. Oscar and David Hay needs to stay retired. I agree, but I can see I can see why De La Hoya is doing it right. Because he's fighting Vito Belfort, who was a former UFC champion, and I, I can I can understand his reasons more. Where with David Hay, I'm not knocking David Hay. I, I've always liked David Hay. I, li I like him as a person, but I feel like David Hay is just doing it for the money. With De La Hoya, of course he's going to be getting paid a lot, but I feel like he's not just doing it for the money. He's doing it because he wants to slay his demons. You know what I mean? We all have demons, and we all have a calling or a feeling that we need to do a certain thing. It doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. And I feel like with De La Hoya, I feel like um, I would like to see him win, you know, get, find his happiness back again. Because he was a great fighter growing up. I know he gets some negative press because he, I don't know, I, I don't know things he's done wrong, but I just kind of um, resonated and I could um, emphasise and, I can have some compassion for him, what he's going through. So, but you know, generally, I agree. The fighters should stay retired. I mean, come, excuse me, coming back after 15, 20 years, most people don't really want to see it. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's one of them. The new Marvel movie, uh, Shang Hai or Shang Chi, Chai, is meant to be really good. It's getting great news. Really, I've never heard of it. What's that about? Yeah, I mean, listen, man. I don't, I don't know what the deal with that was. Obviously, to do, he's obviously got his own problems that he's had. Um, yeah, I, I can see why you see the funny side of it. I, I don't, yeah, I, I don't know, man. I wish him the best because I, I, I loved Delahoya as a kid. I, I loved his. Um, you know, you can't knock De La Hoya's career. De La Hoya fought everyone, even if you don't like him as a person. And he does do some strange things outside of boxing, but he was, was an incredible fighter. He fought everyone. He beat the best. He, had a, he, he lost some, which which is inevitable when you're fighting the best. So De La Hoya is one of the greats. You know, that's why Pacquiao beating De La Hoya was a big deal. I saw Aiden. I had coffee um, actually... He's, he's great. I, I, me and my friend, actually, me and my friend were having coffee in a coffee shop, and guess who walked in? Aiden walked in, and then Aiden joined us, and the three of us had a coffee, and it was nice. It was good to see Aiden. Or I've always liked Aiden. I've always, um, I've always had, um, you know, that just natural a love for for him, and uh, I think it's the same way. I think he think, thinks uh, thinks highly of me. So um, yeah, he's doing good. What do I think of McGregor? Um, I liked him when he first came along. Um, I thought his, you know, he's a, he was a great fighter, and I liked his colourfulness. But I'm not, I'm not that mad on some of the things, some of the things he's done now, right? 
I don't want to, it's hard not to judge because I know I'm not a perfect person either, but I don't really like the way he treats, the way he conducts himself. It's, it's not, if I had a kid, which I don't, I wouldn't really want him looking up to McGregor at this current stage when he's behaving like that. So to be honest, I was glad Dustin Poirier beat him. I think he needs to be humbled a bit. But, you know, again, you know, he's got his problems. and We've all got our problems and some people, they don't know how to deal with their problems. But yeah, I'm not, I don't like the way he conducts himself, to be honest, like punching an old man, hitting an old man. That's out of order. You can't be doing that. So I'm not, I'm not really a big fan of him, to be honest. But I do, you know, again, whether you like him or not, you still respect him. He was a great fighter and his fights are entertaining to watch. And he is very, he is very brave. He's a very brave man, which is a shame because he's someone that you want to, like, there's no reason. I didn't want to find a reason not to like him. It's more, I wanted a reason to like him. But when he starts doing certain things, yeah, you know, when you're being disrespectful to a man's wife and stuff like that, it's just not called for. In it, Bobby, in it, it's so good to have YouTube um, to rewatch really the fights. I tell you what, guys, man, I've got some good treats for you because. I'm going to start interviewing people soon, you know, and on with good quality, with high quality, like my my other camera. Uh, like I said before, guys, apologise for the for the not great quality here because I'm using the camera of my laptop, and my laptop is not really an expensive one; it's quite plain, so you don't get a great, um, you know, HD or pixel. But when I use my Canon camera, as you've seen, the quality is brilliant because I've got a I don't know if you guys know about lenses. I've got a nice um, 50 millimeter nifty 50 lens, which gives you a nice blurry background. So um, we will be improving as we keep expanding on these live streams. Oh, 100%. I said that age ago. I think Con everybody knows that, that Connor's best days are past him. He... He doesn't seem like he's got the hunger anymore. And you can understand, what is he? Is he a billionaire? He's made millions. He's, you know, he's fought at the highest level. He's won some great, he's had great moments. But I just feel like now he's just fighting for the money and he's, he's losing a lot. Um, but uh, listen, man, I hope to see, I hope McGregor gets back to, I hope he gets back to being in a good mental space and, and just, you know, be, the gentleman that you, you kind of know he is, you know, he's a good person deep down, you know, he's got, you know what I mean, he's, he's a good guy. I've never met him in person, so I can't say, but you can only go by what you see on, on the social media. And, uh... Oh, awesome. You like photography, yeah? Yeah, I, I recently got into more filmmaking and a bit of photography two years ago in lockdown. I spent, because we had so much time, I asked when I got into it, and it's just an amazing world, man. It's a whole different world I appreciate that man I have I have you 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 know you you're smart you're smart guy uh, back gam and obviously we spent time in person so I'm really pleased that you picked up on that because you know I'm not going to I'm usually, I'm pretty honest with everyone. If I'm down or bad, I will say it. And, and I'm in a good place. I have been socializing a lot. Like everybody, I had to face a lot of fears again, a lot of social fears, life fears because of the COVID and lockdown. So I'm, I'm, I've, re I've just recently moved into this good space of feeling happy and confident again. And I'm going to keep building on it. So I have been socializing. And since I rejoined the boxing gym, I feel like it's given me a, a new lease of life you know what i mean i'm enjoying being around people which is great so um yeah man that's, that's spot on john i remember you was laughing when aiden said uh do you want a sugar daddy young girl he, he approached i don't remember that i probably did yeah aiden's aiden's made me laugh many times he's got a good sense of humor Oh, awesome. You've got the macro lens. Is that the, um, 
is the macro lens the, the pancake lens i'm still learning or is it is that a different lens Do you know what? I, yeah, I, it's so exciting that new world with the um, learning about photography and you know depth, 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 depth of field, different lenses, different looks, different angles. You know, getting the aperture right, the ISO, the shutter speed, the lighting. I, I, I love it. Fascinating. It's the one where you can focus on small objects are oh, really, that sounds good. Um, I've only got two lenses at the moment. I've got the kit lens, which isn't brilliant. And I've got the nifty 50, which is a brilliant lens. You probably know it. It's a very famous one and it gives you bokeh in the background. It's probably it's the lens I've been using predominantly for probably the last six months. Oh, really? I have to look into that one, the macro lens. Any other questions, guys? Anybody who, who hasn't answered a hasn't asked a question who would like to ask one, don't be afraid, get one in. One thing I've realized lately is that not to obsess about relationships. It's, it's never a bad realization. They won't make us happy. We need to build on all areas of our life to grow and mature and to praise ourselves more. Yeah, I'm going to do a video on that. I was having a conversation with someone about that the other day about um, you know the challenges of relationships. Yeah, the Nifty 50. The names are funny, aren't they? Are you getting your protein in right? No, no chicken, no chicken breast, rice and broccoli today, no? Nah? So make some eggs, some egg whites. We're doing an Arnold Schwarzenegger, 17 egg whites in the morning, another 10 egg whites in the afternoon, <laughs> 10 in the evening, 10 before bed. <laughs> Any other questions? Any, anybody wants to get in um, who hasn't had a chance to get their question in? But yeah, you know, just to summarize and go over it again, take an action, you know, when you're depressed, just little bits at a time until you get the strength to go further. Just keep fighting it. And then and you'll get out of it and you start feeling better again. Awesome. Got people multitasking here. They're listening to me, and they've um, they're in the kitchen. They're, they're, they're working hard to getting their um, getting their meals ready. I tell you what, man. When you've had a really good workout and you bust your balls, food tastes great. It tastes the food seems to um, the body seems to just absorb the food like nothing. It just um, it craves it more. It's a great feeling. So I wonder if it's true then. I wonder if this Jake Paul's retired. I mean, why, I wonder why he'd retire after four fights and being successful. Maybe he did, maybe when he got hurt, he didn't like the idea of losing or maybe he's made enough money. I've got, or maybe it's just another stunt, another gimmick. Maybe he's, he's not retiring. He's just saying that to mess about or the, you know, just get into people's heads. Speaking of retirement, I wonder if um, if Pacquiao is going to announce his retirement, or if he's going to if he's going to do a rematch and fight Ugas. Excuse me.
No, I think um, I think everybody's fell asleep on the stream. <laughs> I'm sleepy as well. We've been going for an hour. I heard about it on a channel that I watch called Voice from the Corner, a good boxing channel, good people. And the guy done a quick little video saying, you know, Jake Paul announcement. I clicked on the video and he said, uh, um, you know, Jake Paul has announced he's retired from boxing. Oh, nice one, still there. Got um, the blue salamander. Yeah, you know, my favorite part of the live stream is the inter answering the questions. I like talking at the start, but after I've spoken for like half an hour, you, you just kind of, you get a little bit tired. And you kind of get a little bit, um, you just kind of get sick hearing your own voice. <laughs> so it's much better to answer questions and, and, and engage. You know, it, that game, it's, it's not top of my priority list, but it is a priority. I would love to do some traveling. Um, I'm just going to get myself back to work again, uh, get my finances good again. And, um, just get my, my mindset program for traveling because I did it in the past and I loved it. So um, I w would, would like to definitely step outside again of the United Kingdom and just get some different atmospheres, culture. Are you going to do any traveling, anything planned? Well, really, this channel, Jeremy, they're usually quite honest, quite reliable, um, but it could, it could be wrong. But the guy did say it. I did literally just watch the video today. Let me find it. Look. I definitely saw it. Get your questions in, guys. We're probably slowly coming to that sweet spot at the end. So any other questions, get them in. Um... Where is it? Here we go. No. Here we go. I'll show you the video. Sorry, officer. I am so sorry. Uh, well, so if you can hear this, but. Welcome back to Voice Chronicle. Hope you're all well. Hope you're all safe. So, breaking news. Obviously, I said it in my last video, but Jake Paul has retired. I mean, we're getting a lot of people out there now saying, soon he's, got, he's been here on the chin. Uh, he's realised how hard boxing is and he's walked away from it. You know, at the end of the day, we've got to give him credit for getting in there and having a fight. And we can't help that he was getting 10 times as much. Really? Is he joking? Because this channel was really reliable. He must, he must just be, is it a joke? Or oh, whether he is or he isn't, right? Doesn't, um... You know, so um, I'm not really fussed. I'm not really a fan. I'm, I'm not a hate or anything like that. But yeah, if he does, either way, whatever. Going to Southeast Asia, mate, it's a different world. Wow, lucky you, man. Good for you. Uh, when are you going soon? Now, I haven't managed to get to Ireland, you know, for, for some reason. I had a few opportunities, but I was a bit young then. And I was a bit scared of traveling and flying. But, um, uh, a, bit, a, bit, a bit sad about that, I haven't, haven't had a chance to go. Well, when I did have a chance, I just mentally, I just was a bit nervous about the travelling. But who knows, the opportunity might come again. Okay, maybe he was just joking about the retirement and the guys misunderstood him. It can happen sometimes. That's the thing with social media sometimes. If somebody says something, you don't always know that they're joking. You, you think it's real and then you find out they're joking. And sometimes when people are serious, people think they're joking. So that's the, that's the downside with social media. You can't, you can't always know for sure what's genuine and, and what's real and uh, what people, you know, what they're really saying. But yeah, we've kind of gone through 
everything that I wanted to share today. So the main message is, it's not easy, it is challenging, but when you're depressed and anxious or you're feeling down, you really want to try your hardest to, to, to do something, take some action, clean your apartment, go to the shop just to get a bit of food ingredients, um, book, a, book a movie to see in a cinema, go to a restaurant, go and see a friend, go for a walk, um, make a video, do some photography, uh, go to the gym, you just want to do something that where you can exercise out your depressed energy and just to get your mind off of it and get your mind focused on something so that you can enjoy it, at least just to get a break from the depressed thoughts that you're having and, and those horrible emotions. And those horrible emotions, will they will transform and change into good emotions if you take the action. So if you can't take big amounts of action, then just take little bits and get a little bit of um, strength. Awesome, man. Enjoy your workout. Thanks for coming to stream back again. Really appreciate it. Brilliant, man. We hope to see you soon. All right, guys, you know what? We'll call it a day, man. I think we um, we had a good one today. We covered a lot. Uh, I got a chance to answer everyone's questions. Um, I don't think anyone on the stream didn't get their question answered. I did try. It was fun. What are we now? We've done about an hour and, an hour and 12 minutes. And uh, stay tuned because we're going to do more. And I'll probably, I will do longer ones probably on the weekend when we get more people on. But I just wanted to check in. Make sure everyone is, um, you know, keeping up with the gym, socialising. And if you've got any other questions that I didn't answer, you can post them on the YouTube or Instagram, and I'm going to make some videos, all right? Great to see you guys. Talk to you soon. Keep up with your goals. And remember, if you're depressed, just try and do little things. Clean the house. Go for a walk. Go gym. Speak to someone. Uh, don't suffer in silence, all right? Become fearless.